To find the center of a circle from its equation, we're going to start by looking at the numbers that are associated with x and y. Now in this case, the x is all alone, and so it may be helpful to think of this problem as not just x squared, but rather x plus 0 squared, because adding 0 doesn't really change anything. Uh, similarly for y, let's think of this as y plus 0 squared. Uh, once I've written the equation in this format, my center is always going to be made up of those two numbers right there. I need to make sure I take the opposite of those numbers. However, for 0, it doesn't matter. There's no such thing as negative 0. So the center of this circle is going to be located at 0, 0, or the origin. So I'll put that point on my graph. Uh, now, it's important to know that that's going to be the center, so the circle will not go through that point. It's going around that point. To find the radius of a circle from its equation, this number at the end will represent our radius. R really, it represents our radius squared. To find the radius, we have to take the square root of that number. So the radius of this circle is 6. So knowing where the center of this circle is and knowing where the how long the radius is, I'm going to count six spaces in, in four different directions from my center. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces to the right. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces to the left. And then similarly, up and down six spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up there. Hopefully I'm counting correctly. Uh, and then count down six as well. 1, 2, 3, Three, four, five, six. I cannot count. Hor uh, I cannot count diagonally, so I have to make sure I count uh, horizontally and vertically. So at this point, we're going to do our best to make a circle connecting those four points. So you're probably going to laugh at how bad this looks, but I'll do my best to make a nice rounded circle. I guess it's not the worst circle I've ever seen, but it's not great. Um, I won't uh, mark you wrong for drawing ugly circles, as long as it looks somewhat circular. Uh, don't do something, like I've seen people do this, they kind of just connect the points. Don't do that, that would be a really bad circle. Um, so make it look somewhat round. And here's one more we'll take a look at. Again, to find the center of the circle, we're going to look at the two numbers associated with x and y in parentheses. Remember to take the opposite of those numbers always, and this time that will matter. So my center is going to be located at 1, comma, negative 3. Make sure x is in front. So there's my center of the circle, so 1, negative 3. So I'll graph that point or plot that point. Uh, next up, I'll find the radius. Remember, this number represents our radius squared. So to find the radius, I'll take a square root. The radius of this circle is going to be 3. So from that center point, let's count three spaces to the left and to the right. And then also count up and down three spaces. And then we'll do our best to make a nice rounded circle between those points. That's a little bit better. Um, oops, I guess I missed that point. Missed that point just a little bit. But as long as I can tell you graph your points correctly and you made a somewhat round looking circle, that's going to be A-OK -okay in my book.